Whenever a chicken coughs or sneezes, it means that the chicken is suffering from a chicken respiratory disease known as chronic respiratory disease, which is caused by Mycoplasma galiseptica bacteria. However, some few diseases like Newcastle disease, infectious bronchitis, foul cholera, show similar symptoms, but in most cases, chicken cough is caused by CRD that is why broad-spectrum antibiotics are mostly recommended for treatment. Besides, chicken keepers frequently complain about the widespread cough and catarrh among their flock and spend so much on treatment with no result. If there is any form of healing, within a short while the symptoms will resurface again, this is because treated chickens are carriers and CDR is highly contagious. What causes chicken CRD? CRD is caused by Mycoplasma galliepticum, although, other species affect other birds like turkey, duck and so on. Also, stress factors like lack of vitamins, extreme temperature, lack of space, Poor welfare may trigger the manifestation of pathogenicity of galliseptacum in the chicken. In other words, you must improve the welfare of your chickens by keeping your chicken coop clean. Avoid the buildup of ammonia by packing your caked or wet chicken manure ammonia gas is one of the factors that trigger respiratory diseases in chickens. For me, whenever my eyes feel itchier I find it difficult to breathe in the coop or pen I know sanitation is long overdue. Symptoms of CRD in chickens. The following symptoms are common with broilers between 3 to 8 weeks. Drop in feed consumption, slow growth. In growing or mature chickens, the following signs can be observed. Coughing, sneezing, rattling, swollen face, nasal discharge, ruffled feathers, frothy eyes, drop in laying, sometimes darkened head, loss of appetite, weight loss, yellowish droppings. Prevention of CRD in poultry. Minimize stress due to sudden weather changes, feed changes, drafts, chilling crowding, transporting, worming, vaccinating dust and ammonia fumes. Vaccinate after an outbreak clean and disinfect housing and leave empty for a few weeks. Keep your chickens away from stress factors if you don't want your chickens to frequently have cough and catarrh. Clean your pen regularly to avoid ammonia gas from its droppings, which is the main stress factor that causes respiratory disease. How do I treat chicken respiratory infection? To treat and manage respiratory infection, follow these steps. 1. Isolate the sick or affected chickens. Chickens like humans like socializing with one another, as such infectious diseases can spread at a rapid rate throughout your flock. It is paramount you isolate sick birds at the first sign of illness to protect the rest of the flock. This is what you can do. Supply the infected birds with their feed and water. 2. Care for sick birds. The key factors that will contribute to a chicken's recovery are hydration, nutrition, and also warmth. You should pay particular attention to hydration. If the CRD is severe, it may be necessary to use a syringe or dropper to give the sick birds water. This process may be necessary until the bird fully recovers enough to drink on its own. For severe cases, you should administer electrolyte solution to restore strength. 3. Reduce the risk of reinfection. Proper co-op management is necessary to curb the spread of disease. After any illness, thoroughly clean the co-op to reduce the risk of reinfection. Ensuring that chickens are healthy will also curb reinfection. Use a good probiotic to help boost chicken immunity however, severe or complicated CRD is often difficult to treat, especially when it is in combination with cholera, infectious bronchitis, infectious coryza, Newcastle. The next question is, how to treat chicken cough naturally? If you notice a hen coughing, sneezing, or breathing heavy, first try gently massaging her throat and giving her a drink of water mixed with some olive oil. You can sprinkle a bit of ground cinnamon on top or mixed into their feed. You can also add a fresh garlic clove to the water, squash it between your fingers first to break it up a bit. Try chopping up the fresh herbs and feeding them free choice, or using dried herbs mixed into their feed if fresh is not available. Some apple cider vinegar in their water is also beneficial.